hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free so this is going to be the part 2 about traveling salesman problem in the subject of design and analysis of algorithms so in the previous video we have stopped at this point from a we calculated the cost for b to c to d and we got the cost as 16 uh, minimum for d so we have planned to extend extend d from D you have two possibilities you can either go to B or to C so now let us see which path is economical for us whether going to B or going to C so yeah let's um, go ahead and before that so now what is our parent matrix till now we have uh, we have considered M1 as our parent matrix right because here we got the cost for A now we have to make this path A to D matrix as our parent matrix. Let us consider this as M2. Okay. And what is our parent matrix cost now? So parent matrix cost is 16. Why? Because we got 16 here from A to D. Okay. Now let us find out the cost for A to D to B. From A to D and from D to B what is the cost? Let us see. So what we are doing? A to D and from this to B right and this is our parent matrix and this is our parent matrix cost why we took this as parent matrix because A to D path we have already fixed now we our choice is to select B or C right let's see so in this case what you have to do is you have to make A row comma D row as infinity and B column as infinity and the path from B to D as infinity and the path from B to A also as infinity okay let's don't worry this is our parent matrix let's update the values from this matrix A row A B C D A row should be made infinity. Next, D row also should be made infinity. Next, B column should be made infinity. Next, B to D as infinity. Next, B to A also infinity. Okay, the remaining values you can fill from this parent matrix. Okay. So 0 and over here it is 0 and over here it is infinity, infinity, done. The matrix is filled. Now check if we have to do any reductions or not. How do you check? Here all infinities, here at least one zero. here at least one zero. here all infinities. Condition satisfied for all the rows. Check for columns, at least one zero all infinities at least one zero all infinities so done so in this case also reduction is how much zero right now how do you find out the total cost cost of parent matrix what is the cost of parent matrix 16 so 16 plus reduction is how much zero and the path from D to B so 16 plus 0 plus D to B is how much in this uh, parent matrix? D to B. This is B, right? A, B, C, D. This is B. D to B. What is the cost? 0. So plus 0. So what is the total cost? 16 is the total cost from D to B. So here you will get 16 as the total cost. In the same way, you have to calculate the total cost from for a to d and from d to c okay let's do that so what we what path we are finding now we are finding from a to d to c so here what you have to do you have to make a comma d rows as infinity c column as infinity and the path from c to d as infinity and the path from c to a as infinity and the remaining values from parent matrix which is m2 
let's fill up the values for the first. matrix that i got i made a row and d row as infinity c column as infinity c to d as infinity c to a as infinity and the remaining values i took as it is from m2 parent matrix okay now let us see if we have to do any deductions or not so this row is perfect all infinities here we don't have all infinities and we don't have at least one zero also so you have to reduce it so what is the minimum value in this row it's one in this row what is the minimum value four and in this row it is oh sorry it is perfect like all are infinities so let's redu reduce it first and then check for columns so first it will be obviously all infinities so from this row if you subtract one one minus one is zero and the remainings will be all infinities only and here if you subtract with four you get zero here so infinity zero infinity and infinity and here also all infinities again now check if all the rows are reduced or not this is true at least one zero yes at least one zero yes and then all infinities yes check for columns now here at least one zero yes at least one zero yes at all infinities all infinities so this matrix is perfect it is reduced so now what is the total reduce reduction from second row you subtracted one and from third row you subtracted four so the total is five so the total reduction so far is equal to how much five so the total cost will be how much what is the cost of the parent matrix so our parent matrix is d what is the cost on this 16 plus what is the reduction five plus what is the cost from d to c in the parent matrix from d to c what is the cost in the parent matrix it's four right d c four so plus four how much you will get you will get 25 i guess yes 16 plus 5 21 21 plus 4 25 so what will be the cost on this it will be 25 so now which path you have to pick obviously you have to pick b only why because if you pick c then the cost will be more right so you are picking b only got it from b where you will go next you will obviously go to c you need not calculate the cost also to determine where to go next but let's calculate the cost for this also why because if your goal is just to determine the path then this will be enough he will go to c and from then c he will go to a but your job is also to determine the cost so how much cost it will take to go from b to c that also you have to calculate okay so in order to calculate this now the parent cost matrix is how much 16 and what is the parent matrix parent here Parent matrix will be the matrix from a to d and d to b which matrix is that this one okay a to d and d to b matrix will become the parent matrix now let us take it as m3 okay m3 is the parent matrix and the total cost of the parent matrix is 16 by using these values let us calculate the path from a to d d to b and then from there to c so how do you um, make this matrix as you do a d b rows as infinity c column as infinity and the path from c to a c to d and c to b as infinity and the remaining values will be filled from parent matrix which is m3 this matrix okay let us fill the values quickly so let's check if there is any reduction possible here all infinities all infinities all infinities all infinities again all infinity all infinity see so there is no reduction reduction is how much zero so now what is the total cost parent cost mat parent matrix cost which is 16 plus reduction is zero and from the parent matrix what is the cost from b to c so b to c what is the cost from parent matrix it's zero right so plus zero which is equal to 16 so the total cost now is how much 
16 got it so what is the path then so let's take this it is 16 so what is the path a to d and from d to b and b to c and c to a right so the tra salesperson has covered all the cities and what is our total cost 16 you can find the total cost in this way also like you can check it whether whatever you got is correct or not this was our original matrix right this is our original matrix so from the original matrix what is the cost from a to d a to d it's 3 from d to b from d to b 3 from b to c b to c 9 and then from c to a from c to a from c to a 1 so 1 3 plus 3 plus 9 plus 1 16 6 9 15 15 plus 1 16 okay you got 16 at the end so this is how you do the traveling salesperson problem first you have to do the row reduction column reduction then you will be getting with some parent matrices and then whichever is lowest you have to pick it up among these three you got d to be lowest so you are further branching d b and c among these both you got 16 as the lowest from 16 you're going to see and then you're coming back to the starting point okay this is about traveling salesperson um i hope you guys are clear with this video i really try to explain it in the best way as i can but still if you're not able to understand let me know if you let me know then only i can understand that i have to improve myself okay so yeah that's all about this video guys uh, practice it practice it again if you are thinking that it is taking too long watch it 1.5x and if you watch it on i usually watch videos on 2x speed if i am studying for my exams but these kind of videos if you watch it at that speed you will not understand you uh, you have to watch it at 1x only but if you're not having time then like we cannot do anything right so yeah that's all guys thanks for listening patiently part one and part two so in the next video i'll explain you about knapsack problem in the branch and bound so yeah that's all let's meet up soon the next coming video with another topic